check this out. Suffice it to say, I'm not on my own property. I'm out and about. Welcome to another week. I am in the back of Will's car because uh, we took Vita for her routine annual injections the other week and it turned out that uh, she's got terrible teeth so we're having to take her back to the dentist to get her teeth all nice and cleaned. She has got terrible breath anyway. <laughs> so we're going to take the opportunity to run a couple of other errands whilst we're waiting for Vita. I don't know if you can make out Vita's BDI, she hates going in the car. And as I've mentioned before, she often makes a bit of a dirty protest, which is why I've got to back up. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to do is um, I bought recently a Stanley Donwood print. Um, you may or may not know Stanley Donwood, but uh, he... I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, not that he's going to watch, but he's possibly most famous for doing a lot of the artwork for Radiohead album covers so I'm a huge Radiohead fan and I really like the artwork and I've always wanted to own a piece of Stanley Donwood but I've been waiting for the right one to come along it's not um, an album cover print it's a different print it's in that tube so I'm taking that to get framed and then also I haven't showed you this yet I'm taking my art competition entry to the gallery. I call it happiness. I don't know if you can make it out but it's uh, three dogs riding on the back of a ute. I'm quite pleased with that and Will, Will made the frame for me. Fingers crossed it sells. She has settled down. Can just make her house. <laughs> but uh, it has been several dirty protests later. Anyway, we're about to uh, deposit her at the vet for her dental work. Always a bit stressful taking a cat in a car. At least, at least Rita. She really doesn't like it. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday. We're starting on Vita today because you might want an update. It all went very well. Apparently she had a number of teeth extracted but not so many that <laughs> she's now totally gummy. <laughs> um, they gave her her teeth a nice clean and they put some sort of protective coating on her teeth to help keep them nice and clean going forward. She also had a painkiller injection and an antibiotic or something I think and something that blocked the nerves so she currently oughtn't to be in any sort of pain she is limited though at the moment to a soft food only diet so uh, no biscuits for Vita for the next week and then after that it should all be back to normal she was a bit groggy after the anaesthetic and she did make a few dirty protests on the way to the vet actually not just one <laughs> There were several pit stops, but uh, and apparently she was very grumpy in the vets. Um, <laughs> she didn't like anyone touching her, she didn't like the vet nurses touching her, and in fact when we went to pick her up, um, I had to put her back in a cage because none of the nurses were game for going anywhere near her. Um, so <laughs> she wasn't in the best mood, but she was absolutely happy and delighted to be home. 
and as you can hear she's still very much happy now so no ill effects for Vita for the time being but uh, we'll see how it goes once all these injections start wearing off before I crack on with my day I wanted to show you this and I haven't mentioned this previously I was waiting for it to arrive um, I've disguised it currently with this um, piece of quilting or patchwork, I'm not sure, <laughs> that uh, we got for our wedding. It's a wedding present. But um, we are now the proud owners of this Techni Ice ice box. Um, now, <clears throat> as you probably know, or possibly don't, um, I'll briefly explain, we're completely off grid here for our electricity. And when we first moved here, we did buy an extremely energy efficient fridge freezer <clears throat> that we hoped um, would mean that we'd be able to use it with our then solar system. But there were two problems. Firstly, the existing solar system was so ancient, um, we could only really have the fridge going for about five hours a year. And also it was a modified sine wave inverter that converts the 12 volt electricity to the 240 volt that comes out of the sockets. <clears throat> so it didn't really work properly either. So we kept it for quite a long time just as a cupboard basically, but realized that um, by then, this is several years later, we had uh, adapted to not having a fridge. And so we decided that when we upgraded our solar system to something better, we just wouldn't get one. Um, that was probably a good idea. We now have a pure sine wave inverter, so that wouldn't have been a problem. Until we've made additions to the system as we have it now, I would think in winter we still wouldn't have an, enough electricity to keep it going. Um, so it's not necessarily the best idea. <laughs> is very affectionate. Um, and in winter, it was all fine actually. I kept all my um, fresh food in the cupboard here. <sighs> Vita. <laughs> and um, it was all grand, but I've noticed as we've moved into summer, not that it's even that hot yet, food was going off really, really, really quickly. And we only do our grocery shopping once a fortnight. So it was just no good. And a large part of what I eat is um, fresh fruit and vegetables. So we settled on this as, an, as a solution. At the moment I accept it's not particularly attractive. <laughs> That's why I've disguised it. But uh, I'm hoping that Will's going to build some sort of cupboard to go over it, which will disguise it, but also give us a little bit of extra storage. And then we can finally put this bedside table back in the bedroom where it belongs. The ice packs are currently in a freezer elsewhere, so there is food in there, but um, not with the ice packs. Hopefully they'll be coming home with Will today. And that's quite handy, you see. So we have access to uh, a gigantic freezer, so we can freeze the ice packs elsewhere and then just transport them here and um, switch them over. Apparently this ought to keep the ice packs chilled for up to 10 days, so we're hoping that we can just switch them over once a week. So we can keep the temperature in there a lot cooler than in the cupboard. And hopefully um, a lot of the fresh food, fresh food and some of the dairy and drinks and things will keep nice and cool. So that's our current solution to not having quite enough electricity to power a fridge all year round. Um, I'll let you know how we get on with that. Um, I did a lot of research and I settled on this. It wasn't cheap. But um, I hope it will be worth it. It's cheaper than a fridge anyway. Um, maybe one day when we do make the additions to the solar system, which is um, an extra panel on one of the buildings and an extra battery and possibly a proper backup generator, we may reconsider. But I actually quite like not having a fridge, if I'm perfectly honest. And if this solution... Uh, works for us and I see no reason why we couldn't just maintain this. Oh, now I'm going to crack on with the rest of my day and I will bring you with me because I've got uh, some new plants and bits and pieces and I'll maybe give you an update on how the 
donut bed fed whilst we were away. I grew this one from seed and that's not for the donut bed but I will be planting that out shortly. But this is the motley selection of plants that I received in the post. The final batch. So uh, these are some of the things. Mock orange of course. My favourite plant, bush wisteria, and lastly, fuchsia. Fuchsias might divide the crowd, but I love them. <laughs> um, and this isn't one of this isn't one for like a hanging basket. This is a nice shrubby fuchsia. Let's go and quickly look at the donut bed. Um, there has been some attrition since I was away, so I might shore up the. Um, some of the stick cages but I think some of the attrition was more to do with slugs so you can see this plant here that's been uh, might need to get a bit closer you can see this plant here um, some of the leaves have been a bit munched uh, but as I say that might have been slugs something similar happened to this one there's just a few nibbles here and there by and large uh, except for this one which has vanished so <laughs> this one's disappeared but the rest they've just been slightly nibbled but not to the point that they have um, died even something like this this is one of the um, geraniums that I grew and whilst a lot of the leaves have been munched off you can see that you know it's still springing new leaves up so I think that one will be fine. I'm going to uh, however reinforce some of these cages and then obviously I've got cages to make for the plants that I'm about to plant out. And Beauty's come to join me. You can see she's perfectly happy. <laughs> and hopefully she'll feel a lot better once uh, the discomfort she might be experiencing of the teeth extractions has subsided. I'm sorry if the wind means this is a bit unintelligible. I'm heading down here because I was just out in the belt. I came across an animal that I haven't filmed before. I thought you might like to see it. It's quite elusive and I don't really want to disturb it too much. But here is long-necked tortoise, turtle. Sorry, <laughs> I'll look that up and clarify it. It's just tucked its head in under its shell as a method of protection. I'm not sure what it's doing here. I don't know if it's laying eggs or something. It seems to have dug a bit of a trench. I'll, I'll zoom in rather than get closer. That's it in all its glory. In terms of scale, probably if I put my hand over it, I'd more or less cover the shell. live in water and these are our neighbours settling ponds but uh, this is our drive to our house. I shall leave it in peace. There you go, something a bit different. I'm currently off my property. How nice are these ducks?
Muscovy, I think. I don't know if you could hear that. It's sort of a grunty piggy noise. There's a koala over there. I didn't often hear the vocalise. I'm not sure if that picked it up. Anyway, maybe you just heard a koala making a noise. Sorry about the lighting, but the, this is the fella that you may or may not have heard making that squealy, grunty, piggy noise. Now he's having a sleep.